Welcome to step one of the Find Fire video. Firstly, we'll create a new project. And note that this is different to starting a new file. If you select new file instead of new project, your model will not have the ability to calculate network parameters. And now we'll define building levels via the auto build menu and also attach relevant XREF files. And uh, by selecting building definitions as, we, as we've seen, now we're selecting the XREF files. And then we can go and lock the XREF layer so we don't accidentally make any changes. And now we can also define firefighting spaces also from the from the auto net menu. Enter the firefighting space name, the type of hazard as per the standard, the minimum density as per the standard that you're working to. We can define the firefighting space by selecting the relevant points as shown here. You can also use polylines to define the fire space. So there we go, we've accepted that and defined the firefighting space. Likewise, we can do the same for additional firefighting spaces, which we show here. And you can repeat the process for all other spaces. So note that this uh, software is targeted towards building services, fire design engineers, and will save a lot of time and effort during the design process. So that concludes step one.